Community Solutions. If you haven't checked them out, please do so. Uh, this time we're looking at particular solutions, and if you are with me for doing the uh, the early examples with the separating variables method, you'll know that we can find a general solution, which has got a constant of integration in it, and sometimes we can find a particular solution, and the key to finding a particular solution is that we're provided with some extra information. We're going to use that later on, but first of all, we still solve the differential equation as we would before. In other words, we're still going to find a general solution first. So notice here, we've got our differential equation dy by dx. We've got a multiplier of x at the beginning. That's not very good, so we need to divide through by x so that we've got a unitary dy by dx term. Okay, and that's going to give us then instead uh, dy by dx plus 2 over xy equals that cancels down to just x squared. Okay, now that is a differential equation that I can work with. We can see from this, uh, here's my value of p of x. p of x is 2 over x, and q of x is on the right-hand side. q of x is x squared. So the first thing I can do is find the integrating factor, mu. Mu of x is equal to e to the power of the integral of p of x dx. Let's just check what that is. The integral of p of x with respect to x is the integral of 2 over x x and that's going to be 2 times the natural log of x plus c but we're not going to use that at the moment and you know that we're going to put this into an exponential function so it's easier at the moment we could just say that's the log of x squared which means that we're putting it back in here we've got e to the power the log of x squared which simplifies nicely to just x squared mu of x is just x squared Good. That's our first uh, step along the way. Second step is to actually come up with the equation for the function. Let's just keep that there. So we can say that the general solution y is equal to 1 over mu of x multiplied by the integral of mu of x to q of x. Remember, that all, all rhymes. Uh, we know that mu of x is x squared, so we've got 1 over x squared multiplied by x squared times, what's q of x? x squared. And that's the integral of that dx, which basically means we've got 1 over x squared multiplied by the integral of x and 4 with respect to x. That integrates nice and easily, uh, which gives us x to the 5 over 5 plus c. We've got to keep that one in. And we can multiply out the brackets here. Uh, 1 over x squared times x, over x to the 5 over 5. These x squares cancel out to give us x cubed over 5 plus, and then we've got c over x squared. Now that is a general solution. And that would be our answer if that was all we were asked to find. But it's not. We're actually given some extra information. So that means we can move on to find a particular solution. Oops. Particular solution. It simply means that we're going to use our function y equals x cubed over 5 plus c over x squared. But we're going to remember that we were given information at the top, which says x is 1 and y is 2. All we need to do is substitute in those values in to our equation. 2 is equal to 1 cubed over 5 plus c over 1 squared. Well, that gives us 2 equals a fifth plus c. c over 1 is just c, uh, which means that if we subtract a fifth from both sides, 
we end up with c is equal to 1 to 4 fifths or 9 over 5. Okay, so we can say here, where does c go? It goes into uh, that fraction, the second fraction. So we're going to use the fractional version here because we said that the general solution uh, it looks like that. So our particular solution, y equals x cubed over 5 plus, well, we've got x squared on the denominator, so we're going to use the 9 fifths version of probably the easiest way. And that is our particular solution. We've got no constant left because we've substituted in to find the actual value of C for this uh, particular arrangement. And then we can write it like that. There we go. We've got another one in exercise uh, 14. You can check that one out. Um, it's a, a, a context problem, word problem. So have a look at that as well, and then we'll move on to second order differential equations. Hope that's been useful.